version here, guys. Congratulations to the Oklahoma City Thunder on defeating the Los Angeles Lakers two nights ago on Monday, May 21st, 2012. Um, the OKC Thunder obviously won the series in five games, guys. Four games to one. Um, the Lakers just barely avoided a blowout in game five. All right, guys. Um, first off, let's go over the uh, stats on this uh, um, series, guys. <clears throat> uh, game one, OKC won by 29 points, 119 to 190. That loss in game one was the biggest margin of defeat for the Lakers in the entire 2011-12 season. All right, guys. Game two, OKC won by two points, 77 to 75. All right. Uh, game three, the Lakers won by three points, 99 to 96. Game four, OKC won by three points, 103 to 100, off that dagger game winning three by, by KD, a.k.a. the Durantula, at the end of the fourth quarter with less than 20 seconds left to go. Um, and game five, the clincher, two nights ago, um, the OKC Thunder won by 16 points, 106 to, to 90. Um, and the fact that the OKC, uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the fact that um, o OKC won in five games, guys, uh, made my pre-playoff prediction for this series um, incorrect because, again, uh, I had predicted that OKC would would um, defeat the Lakers in six games, but obviously that didn't happen. All right, guys. So thus far, um, uh, in my pre-playoff predictions, uh, I am zero out of two in terms of the uh, second. Um, uh, I'm sorry. In terms of the second uh, round of the playoffs, guys. Okay, so I'm zero out of two. All right, and thus far. Um, not just that, guys. Um, I rarely ever. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't usually congratulate um, Kobe Bryant for uh, for um, for a lopsided performance, but I just gotta say a valiant effort by Kobe being Bryant. I mean, he had 42 points. Um, he literally tried to carry his team on his back to win, but unfortunately, the um, you know the OKC were just too much you know guys I mean and we saw that the whole series guys we saw it all series long that the OKC at Thunder were just too much you know for LA alright guys and not to mention before the playoffs even began I'm sorry uh, before the 2011-12 um, regular season even began I had predicted that the Lakers would get knocked out in the second round of this year's playoffs uh, I just I know I probably should have done a um, clip on that, but hey, lesson learned, you know, for next season. Um, uh, but I did not predict by which team and in how many games. Um, so, again, on the topic of Kobe, valiant effort again by Kobe Bean Bryant. Um, he had 42 points with zero assists. All right, guys. Um, uh, by the way, the... Um, uh, the last time a player scored 40 plus points in the postseason with zero assists was uh was um what was his name was a uh, Maury Stoudemire on May 23rd 2010. All right, guys. Um. Uh, so Kobe had zero zero assists, guys. All right, and that. That just goes to show um, how much he felt that his teammates were um, were lacking the first four games of the series. That he just you know he just couldn't you know trust them anymore. Hence why Kobe took shots on Pau Gasol and you know Andrew Bynum. All right, guys. Um, and again, this is one of the very few times where I do not blame Kobe for having zero assists at all because I'm sure if I was in Kobe's shoes 
and if and if my teammates were slacking, especially my two big men, uh, I wouldn't trust them anymore. You know, especially in the pivotal pivotal game of the series, which in th this case it was Game Five. You know, um, so again, this is one of those very um, very rare occasions where I, where I do not blame Kobe for having um, you know zero assists. All right, guys. Um, so, anyways, guys, the big question is where are the Lakers gonna end up? Okay, um, what moves, if any, do the Lakers have to make? Do they have to trade the guy who's been labeled soft ever since day one, meaning uh, Paul? I'm sorry, <coughs> Paul Gasol. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, along with um, uh, what else do do they have to trade Andrew Bynum? Do they have to trade? Uh, I don't think they have to trade Sessions, but they but the Lakers. The key thing they have to do to me is either trade Tagasol or get some better uh, bench players. All right, guys. So um, once again, congrats to the uh, OKC Thunder on um, moving on to the Western Conference Finals to face the four-time champion San Antonio Spurs alright guys um, there was a uh, um, this is the second year in a row that the OKC Thunder are um, I'm sorry uh, made the uh, conference finals obviously last year they faced uh, Dallas but they lost alright guys um, and my pre-playoff prediction for this series was San Antonio in seven games alright guys I just cannot see the uh, Thunder getting past the Spurs this year okay sorry the the undefeated spurs yeah they went uh yeah the uh, spurs had gone eight and oh thus far in the playoffs all right guys spurs are yet to lose all right guys um but anyways uh that's my thoughts on that let me know what you guys did uh think about that um let me know what what changes do you guys think the lakers should make um, let me know your predictions for the next series and let me also know what your predictions were for this series as well guys the um, LA OKC series did you guys I'm sorry did you guys also think that you know that the OKC would take it in six games or did you guys think five four seven or what you know let me know I would I would highly appreciate the uh, honesty on that all right guys anyways this is a version comment rate enjoy Subscribe as well. I would highly appreciate that again. And last but certainly not least is to always, always keep in mind that if you can believe it, you can achieve it. Alright guys, take care.